I actually read that news article where you were uh, quoted as saying, there's just too much. Uh, we need to declutter or to uh, lessen the volume of subjects uh, being taught in K-12. Is, was that a correct uh, report? Well, it, it's measured as competencies, Sito. And uh, just to give you an example, no, in one grade level, uh, a student is expected to learn about 1,200 plus competencies. So if you divide a school year by 200, you know, kasi every day, 200 days ang school year natin, we're talking about five competencies a day. You know? uh, just to give you a comparison, in Singapore, uh, the competencies that they're learning is only a quarter of what we're learning. You know? Parang mm -hmm. lumalabas, just to keep it simple, ha? parang yeah. lumalabas, one competency per day. And the, the principle of Singapore is they give the students time to learn and time to play. Mm -hmm. So it's not just purely studying. It's also absorbing the, the competencies, absorbing the lessons, and also having time for extracurricular activities. But in our particular case, uh, it, it, the, the experts are saying, and also based on our analysis, our students are being bombarded with a lot of things to learn that they end up learning nothing. And uh, that's what we're seeing right now. That's why our PISA scores are low. Our uh, national achievement test our, uh, scores are low uh, because evidence is saying that they're not learning. Uh, they're not learning, basically, because they have so many things to learn. I would be the first to say that uh, I already see the difference. Filipino students going abroad to study in foreign universities yeah, correct. lose out because they didn't do K-12, whereas correct. the K-12 are accepted. And then, yung pangang IB, kasi I, I learned that from my daughter, because she her program in Victory International School uh, has international baccalaureate program, for K, uh, under the K-12, yeah. she made it, uh, the, her entrance was seamless. But uh, someone else who did not take IB from a very prestigious school here in the Philippines, Major struggled. Yeah, she, yeah. she struggled. Correct, correct. K-12 placed us, placed us at par with in the international system. No? Mm -hmm. And uh, you're absolutely correct. It put us there no? uh, in line with the other international education system. So I don't believe in going back to the 10-year system. However, we need to show and we need to uh, make our families feel the value of K-12, especially in our public schools. Doon sa mga private schools, I, I know they, they, they see the value. Uh, like what you said, they go up uh, abroad and they immediately get accepted. But with our public schools, they don't see it. Naging dagdag gastos lang para sa kanila, which mm -hmm. is not uh, the intention. So we need to tweak it. Ako, I, I, I have some proposals on how to tweak it, like what I mentioned earlier. But we need a comprehensive study, a holistic and comprehensive study on where we should adjust and tweak K-12.